On this video, we're going to take a look at the Ruko F11 GIM2. This thing shoots at 4K, 30 frames per second. It has brushless motors, as well as it has a super long FPV transmission. But it also has a few drawbacks with it. So stay tuned, and we'll dive right into those drawbacks. Let's get it. Well, first off, first thing I would like to say, guys, I am very impressed with the camera quality. Uh, when I went out and shot the videos, of course, all the video footage was saved to my phone in 720p. So the video quality wasn't looking that well until I got home and I checked the SD card. It actually blew my mind, guys. All right. I watched quite a few videos of the Ruko F11 Gim2 and the drone was all over the place. It was like toilet bowling. It was doing all kind of weird things. Luckily, luckily guys, I didn't have those problems with my drone. The only problems I was experiencing was connection with the GPS. You know, of course, when the lights are flashing on the drone, it will not connect to the GPS, so you need to move to a different spot. So that's what it continued to do. That's one drawback I definitely see about the drone. I'm not sure if it's a software thing. I'm not sure if it's a, uh, something that can be adjusted inside of the app. You know, I'm not sure. But when it does get GPS connection, as you can see, it holds steady in the air. It does do a little twitching here and there. And if you turn it really hard and really fast in the air, you will get the propellers in the shot. But most of the time, you won't get it in the shot unless you're doing a little, uh, you're doing some heavy movement, you know, trying to turn it really fast. But uh, guys, this thing, I'm not going to lie. You know, at first, I was like, man, it's not going to be that well because all the videos I saw before. But when I took it out, I'm going to be honest, when I took it out, it did quite well. But, of course, I did take it out. I tried to fly it in altitude mode. That, whoo, guys, do not fly this drone in altitude mode. I highly recommend, I highly recommend you do not fly this drone in altitude mode. That is the worst thing you can do. If you do fly it in altitude mode, just know you better keep your hands on the sticks because the drone, it may start toilet bowling. That may be what those guys were experiencing, but I'm not sure. All I know is when I put it in altitude mode, it started to back up. And it was just backing up away from me. And it just kept backing up, kept backing up. So I brought it forward and it just kept backing up. So I'm not sure what was going on with that. So I tried to click it back into GPS mode and it continued to do the same thing. So I had to land it, of course, and take it to a different spot and then get my GPS signal. Once I got my signal, it took off. It flew no problems. It didn't have any type of toilet bowling. It didn't do anything, guys. It did do a little twitching here and there in the high winds. Um, this thing is level, it said it's rated for, this thing is supposed to be rated for level seven wind resistant. Do I think it's level seven wind resistant? I'm not sure, guys. The jury's still out on that one. But uh, I do know in some winds, it does move around a little bit. But I had it in camera mode. I didn't have it in normal mode or sport mode. So. I think in normal or sport mode, it may have a little more power. That way, you know, it won't move around in the wind. But, I mean, guys, for no optical flow, I mean, it did pretty good. As you can see, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All the footage from the lake was from a different day. It was very overcast that day. We were expecting rain. So, I decided to get the drone up right before it rained. And if you like what you see here, I do have discount codes and links where to purchase down below. I mean, just sitting back looking at this footage, doing this voiceover, guys, I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this drone. You know, like I said, it does have drawbacks, Connecting to the GPS is the main problem I saw. You know, other than that, it flew fine. But if you try to fly it in altitude hold mode or altitude mode, whatever you want to call it, you make sure you keep your hands on the sticks because guess what? That thing will get squirrely. 
it'll start backing up towards you. You know, I did have an accident. I did try to fly, force it to fly. and flew in an altitude hold mode, altitude mode, whatever you want to call it. And it backed up into the house. That was an issue I had. So uh, it didn't quite, it didn't crash. It didn't crash. It backed up into the house, but it didn't crash. It went down and luckily I was able to save it. I did uh, damage my propellers. So I just swapped out the propellers. And as you can see, this is the footage afterwards, you know, because I did do that at nighttime, you know, because I was trying to do the most, trying to fly it at night, you know, trying to force it up in the air just to fly it around my backyard. And it will not get GPS signal. Put it in altitude mode, forced it in the air, and it started backing up. So I kept turning it around, trying to get it toward me to try to get a palm or a quick palm landing so it wouldn't crash into a tree. And someone called my phone, of course, and I looked down at the phone, distracted for just like one second, and it backed up into the house. So that's how it backed up into the house. Full disclosure, just wanted to let you guys know exactly what happened. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Ruko F11 Gim 2? I'm highly impressed with it, guys. I thought it was going to be a piece of trash. I thought it was going to be toilet bowling. I thought it was going to be a dangerous drone. I'm not going to lie. I'm shockingly surprised, guys. I'm almost at a loss for words. I mean, <laughs> I mean, really, guys, this thing actually surprised me of how well it's actually performing. That's pretty much all I got for y'all on this video, man. I highly recommend this drone, but I do recommend you do not fly it in altitude hold mode or altitude mode, whatever you want to call it. Only fly this thing in GPS mode. If the lights are blinking and you can't get it in the air, move to a different location. That's pretty much all I got for y'all. You know what it is. Till next time, get out there and fly your drones, drive your RCs, and we'll see you on these two videos right here. Peace. This is another thing. Just imagine this stadium jam-packed to capacity on game.